that time of year, love is in the air. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Employees at the flower market and gift store are busy helping customers, answering the phones, keeping the flower cooler stocked, and preparing orders for tomorrow. Owner Sarah Talbot tells News 2 that every year she chooses a nonprofit from the community to help with deliveries. I've partnered with the Bridge of Hope this year, and they're sponsoring almost five cars of delivery cars out there, and that's like two people per car. So they have a lot of volunteers um, who are going to help us deliver tomorrow. And then they get a, a very large portion of those delivery fees that we do as a donation back to the Bridge of Hope. This volunteer opportunity will help the Bridge of Hope drive awareness to their organization. It's wonderful that we're going to be making money from this, but another important thing that we're trying to do is to also spread the name of Bridge of Hope. And we want to know what we're here for, and we want our community to know that they have a resource, that if they're in need, um, that they have somebody there. Miller says the volunteers from Bridge of Hope will be proudly wearing stickers with their logos as they deliver flowers to help get their name out in the community.